Frank Goldman, the American writer who lives in, in Mexico City, told me, no, why don't you apply to the Kuhlman Center? No, you should. And I was like, come on, they, they only take Columbia professors. <laughs> How would they take a, a, a Mexican writer no, beginning a novel? And he told me, your, your novel is a typical Kuhlman project. No, you, you should apply. So, so I did it in, in total disbelief. When April day, I, I still remember it. I was taking the baby to the daycare, and, and when I returned home, and the phone was ringing, and it was Jean to tell me, "No, you received a, a fellowship from the Kuhlman Center. No, so fix your visa things, and, and we're waiting for you." The, the chance of having that huge amount of books just to your disposition. No, you're sitting down there, you ask them in a little piece of paper from your office and they arrive you know, like a magical train full of books. And the fact that that while you are here, you are in a perfect bubble in, in which the only thing that matters is your your creativity precisely. Here you read the whole world. You, know, you, you have this universe of, of sources. There, there was that warm sensation all the time. No? I was completely protected, not, not only by the building, that, that is like, in, in my opinion, like, like the, the very heart of, of New York. Like it, it not only sits in, in fifth and 42nd, it, it really acts like the soul and brains of the city. But, but I felt absolutely protected while, while I was here. I used every minute I could. No? It, it, for me, it was... Uh, like one year of vacation, you know, life as it should be and is not. 